Alright, what's up everyone? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon black and white Wi Fi battle. And if you've watched my last few, you see I kind of developed a theme the last few weeks and I decided just to run with it. So, spoiler warning, I'm not going to win this one. Um, instead, I'm going to get bent over a barrel and pounded in the bum by Lady Luck again. So anyhow, it still turned out to be a really good match and it was a lot of fun and a really cool kind of battle. So that's why I figured I'd put it up. Also, just because, you know, why not? I've posted a bunch of losses, so I may as well get it all out of my system. But anyhow, this uh, picture of six random Pokemon that you're looking at on front of your screen is just that. And that's what this battle style is. You uh, get a Pokemon generator and it gives you... a six random Pokemon um, in no particular order. You can choose to have it turn off NFEs, but we didn't. So I got these guys and it's my job to make a team out of them. I can give them whatever moves or items I want. They just have to be legal and I have to make a team. So we did say, uh, we both agreed, me and my friend Silver who I battled agreed that Blaziken was not allowed to have speed boost because that just kind of breaks the game. You know, um, I get him in and then I win the game. So I don't have that option, and I just, you know, <laughs> this is a pretty bad team. Uh, Jolteon is good, Blaziken is decent, and it only gets worse from there. I've got two NFE water types and uh, an NU bug, and then Vigoroth. So I looked over my stats. Uh, actually, Vigoroth's defenses are not terrible, so I did decide to go ahead and give him an Evilite, make him my support, uh, and then go with Jolteon and Blaziken as my sweepers, and um, Motham down there at the bottom, he gets Quiver Dance. That seemed like the only thing that was going to be good for him, and uh, that just left me with these two water guys. Clam Pearl is literally dead weight. Um, I can't do anything. I don't have Trick Room. So I gave it a deep sea tooth and thought maybe if he's got a water type, it can live a hit and do something. Krabby's not looking much better. Krabby's base speed is 30. <laughs> Did you know that? Um, so I just slapped a choice band on it. He's still got like 105 attack, I think. But again, he gets outsped by everything and dies. So not going to look <laughs> to them too much. Uh, basically, I'm going to have to just try and use... Jolteon and Blaziken to hopefully set up a sweep and I didn't know what Silver had at this point so you know there's a chance he'll have some NFEs too and this will be a pretty even match so without further ado let's get into it. So here's where I see Silver's team for the first time and his team is pretty scary. Um, the only NFE he has is Lickitung and I mean that thing didn't have an evolution for four gens so it's pretty solid on its own and then he's got um excadrill thank god he did not get a tyranitar uh so at least it doesn't have its power to rely on but it's still really freaking good um then he's got let's see that Prugly probably i figured that might lead and i knew i could at least handle that one but he's also got cacturn which can wreck me if it gets a sword stance up bravery which kills bravery two hit KOs, um, everything I have at most. It can probably uh, one-shot most of my stuff, so that's going to be fun to deal with. And um, then he's got a Menectric. Uh, Menec Menec wow, I can't say that name. And um, that thing is scary for this team, too, because I've got a flying type and two waters, so luckily I do have Jolteon to kind of help with that, but I don't have anything to take special hits, so... Every time it comes in, it's going to probably ruin me. And the only thing that I have that outspeeds it is Jolteon. Jolteon is the only fast thing I have. So this is going to look like it's... This looks like it's going to be a pretty tough fight to win. So he actually leads with Bravery. I thought he might want to lead with Prugly. I know it gets Fake Out and Hypnosis and that kind of stuff. So I lead with Krabby basically just as Scout Fodder. Um, I see Bravery in and I'm thinking that he probably will U-turn, so I'm going to stay in here and uh, actually go for a Choice Banded Rock Tomb. Yes, because that's the kind of move that Krabby gets. Um, so my thought was, you know, if Bravery stays in, I can live one hit, probably, and slow it down. 
And if it doesn't, I can slow down whatever he switches into. So in comes Perugly, paralyzes me with a body slam, and that means that Krabby is beyond useless now. Um, so I'm just going to stay in and do as much damage as I can. I don't want to switch out and risk getting something else paralyzed. I could have probably gone to Vigoroth and been okay, but I just figured Krabby is not going to be able to switch in on anything else and live, so I may as well fodder him out now. And uh, so I go into my superstar for this match, Blaziken. Blaziken's basically the only chance I have of winning because it kills everything on his team. Uh, anytime I get it in safe, it it's going to kill something. So I just have to do that a lot. And um, he brings in Bravery here. I know that he's got to be Choice Scarfed. Otherwise, there's no way he would have brought it in. So I switch out to Ape Escape, my Vigoroth. And man, he tanks that Brave Bird. Uh, Choice Scarf does less than half thanks to Evilite. And since this is my support set, I'm able to slack it off. And um, I go for the Encore here, thinking Excadrill might want to set up a sword stance on me. But instead, he switches back into Bravery. I predict the superpower nicely here, going to Arthur, my uh, my moth thing, I don't even know its name, <laughs> and uh, take the 4x resisted hit pretty well. So this is my only chance um, to really attack here. I'm not going to set up because even after a quiver dance, I'm not really going to do anything. I'd much rather get a solid hit on and um, I nail Excadrill, but... Again, I kind of just have to fodder myself because I can't risk letting him set up a sword stance. If I had switched out there and he sword stance, um, I was going to lose something else. And Motham was not going to be able to do anything against anything else on his team. I think everything else basically resisted him. So just decided to fodder him there. And then luckily he stays in here. I'm able to surprise him with my mixed Blaziken. Take him out with a vacuum wave. And uh, now... This thing comes back in, and I've got to deal with America again. So, time to fodder out Clam Pearl because it's not going to do anything. Uh, this is the literally the only thing it was good for. Um, he didn't have any water types. Everything could kill it. So, just fodder it out. And now that his attack's been lowered, I know that he can't stay in. I am bring in Hot Wire here. Go for the hidden power, predicting the switch. I wasn't sure if that Manek. Manek Trick had a lightning rod or not, so I didn't go for the thunderbolt. And um, in comes Licky Licky, tanks it like it was nothing, and then my wall gets hit with a toxic on the switch, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's not too bad. I should be able to deal with it okay. And I'm just gonna go for a frustration here. Bravery comes in and gets wrecked. Um, I'm really, really impressed with what Vigoroth was able to do. He takes hits like a beast and uh, he di dishes out some damage too. So I'd make the right prediction here. I know that he's probably going to predict me to switch out since I did last time. So instead I stay in, take him out. But um, unfortunately that means that Ape Escape's basically fodder here. Uh, he's at such a low amount of health. He can't really do anything else. So I'm just going to leave him in, get a safe switch into Hotwire, and now I believe oh, I go for Hidden Power again, right, because of Lightning Rod. Uh, I couldn't risk, the, couldn't risk the Lightning Rod, so I go for the Hidden Power, Licky Licky comes in, and now I'm going to hit it with a Thunderbolt, get the Perilous, which is real nice, and... Um, the thing's low enough that another attack is going to take it out. So here, I think Silver is going to predict me to go for Thunderbolt again, trying to take him out, um, and he does. So looking like it, looking at it now, I don't think he had Lightning Rod. Otherwise, he would have gone into it here. But Cacturn does not take that hit well. Um, does almost half, but I know that I can't stay in here because I got to switch out. So I go in predicting, you know, anything. Uh, take the energy ball, Ugh, but it's a crit. He freaking crits me, and that mattered a ton. Um, I lost the game right there because of that crit. I cannot take any more attacks. I would have been able to take, you know, a couple more. And now Life Orb is going to kill me off. And if I had had more health right here, I would have forced him to make the right prediction. As it is now, he can just go for Flamethrower and be safe either way. But if I had more health, he wouldn't have been able to do that. He would have had to predict correctly. And if I predicted right, could have switched into Jolteon, gotten the health back, or stayed in, survived, and taken him out. And I would have at least been able to push the match to a draw. But as it is, um, 
he's going to faint and he had one guy left i think perugly or something i don't remember he had one thing left that was almost dead so oh uh, freaking crits anyhow that's the match it was a really good one um i think i did pretty well with the team i was given and this is a really fun battle style so i encourage you guys to check it out if you have the ability to make pokemon quickly and I will have more coming your way shortly. Thanks, guys.